Hey guys, this is Misfit Plays Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Shadow Play. It's a really awesome game capturing software from GeForce. Uh, you can record your games in up to 1080p and in full screen, so that's really awesome. It is much better than Fraps or DX Tori. The only requirement for this program is that you have a GeForce graphics card in the 600 series or, or higher. So if you have a 570 or a 580, for example, you can't use this program. Um, maybe it's time for an upgrade. So, to get started, you want to go to the GeForce website and click on GeForce Experience Download. Unfortunately, I can't go through all the features of this application, otherwise we would run out of time. So I'm just going to go over a quick, quick run through of how to use Shadowplay. So you want to open the GeForce Experience application. Now, to record a game with this program, you do need to add it to this list. This can be done by going to Preferences, Games, and clicking check now. Now this button will automatically scan your computer for games that are compatible with this program. So then they should appear in here, the games that you can record. So now you want to click on this button called Shadow Play in the top right. If this button is grayed out and you can't click on it, don't freak out. Come to this drivers tab. Now this program should have automatically scanned your computer for drivers that need to be updated. For example, for me, I needed to update to driver version 331.65 for Shadowplay to be able to be used on my computer. So just do that, it should all work out. If you get to, uh, if you get stuck and things still don't work, private message me and I'll, see, I'll help you to the best of my ability. Now this button should be active, so now you want to click on that. Now this box will appear. You want to click on this funky little light switch and all these buttons will become active. Click on preferences. Now if you've used fraps before, you know what most of these features do. I'll just do a quick run through here. This is an in-game indicator of if you're recording or not in-game. This just changes the position of it. It really doesn't matter where you put it. Down here where you can change is where you can change the location of where your files save. And here is where you assign hotkeys to start recording and stop recording in-game. Just make sure whatever keys that you set it on aren't keys that are required in-game. Otherwise when you press them in-game to perform an action you'll start and stop recording and it'll be really awkward. So now you want to come and click shadow play. These, there's lots of features on this tab so I'll just quickly run through them. Mode, you want to leave that as it is. Shadow time, you want to leave that roughly in the middle. Quality, if you have a lower end gaming PC I'd recommend putting it on medium. Try not to put it on low, try to put it on least medium or your games, or your game quality won't really come out as you intended. So yeah, have it on at least medium, I have mine on high. Audio, this is where you can change if you want in game sound, most likely you do. So put that on. To start recording in-game now, I'm going to switch over to some gameplay footage and I'm going to tell you how to start recording and how to save. So see you in a second guys. Hey guys, now that we're in-game, you want to go ahead and press that hotkey that you assigned earlier once to start recording. Now once you press that hotkey, that in-game indicator on the bottom right or wherever you set it to be will now have a green circle in the middle. That means that you're currently recording. Once you've finished your gameplay, you want to go ahead and press that same hotkey again. Now that green circle will have an arrow appear on top of it and then that green circle will, and the arrow will disappear completely. That means that your gameplay footage has been saved and that you're ready to start editing. So that's pretty much it. You'd think there'd be more to it but it is really basic as I said. So thanks guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it's helped a few of you. I was really confused at the start. Hopefully I can help some confused people out there. So go ahead and thumbs up that video. I'd really appreciate it. And just message me, private message me if you really need any help with anything. I'm glad to help. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.